Hello everyone, I'm John Carlo and I'm here with Turner Talish. We're at our Council Bluffs, Iowa setup and training center where we're here to talk today about combine turn automation. Of course, we've had turn automation for several years now, but we're excited to have it as part of our technology lineup with our combines this fall of 2023. Turner, maybe just give us a little bit of background of, of what turn automation can do and how is it going to help our customers? Exactly, John. So we've had auto track turn automation for a few years now uh, with tractors on planters and hydrous bars, things like that. Um, so now some of that functionality is coming over to the combines. So we're actually going to be able to turn around on our headlands. Uh, without steering the machine, it's going to do it all on its own. So this is pretty exciting because we've just, well, we've been limited to having this technology on tractors, but, but now it's on, on our combine. So maybe tell us a little bit about, like, how does that impact speed and raise and lowering our heads? Like, what are the limitations and what are the opportunities with it? On the tractors, we've been able to set up different, uh, you know, raise and lower sequences, things like that. Uh, with the combines, as of right now, it's not going to control our speed. So we will still be managing that. And it's also not gonna raise and lower our head. So we will have to, uh, to manage that. Um, but all the turn sequences, it's gonna take care of. To get started, first off, we wanna select our field and we wanna have an accurate field boundary. And then to turn the system on, we'll go to menu, to the applications page, and then to auto track turn automation and we can enable that system. As long as it's ready and we've got our start turn defined, we're pretty much ready to go. Obviously you're an expert in this and have had the opportunity to, to run, turn on, turn automation uh, in tractors and, and have had some experience in combines. What's the setup like and, and what can our customers expect in terms of the time it takes to get ready and, and maybe get into what, what's required to, to use that function? To kind of start out with uh, you know, what we need to have on our machine, um, it's got to have at least a Gen 4 display in it. And then we also have to have our advanced automation activation package. So once we have um, those couple of things, then setup is very easy. We just need our, our field boundary. Um, so ideally if those have been driven, and then we can set up our headlands off of that and enable the system and start auto tracking. To view additional videos in our Precision Ag series, visit agrivisionequipment.com. For more information on products discussed in the video, contact an Agrivision Equipment sales representative.